Um, I don't even know the specifics of the situation, bro. I just read the headlines, dog. And uh, another whore that's been lying on the man's name has been held accountable. And I'm about to dive into the story now, man. But before we do that, man, pull up the shop, StevieKnight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you're rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something like, I got you. And, you know, the holes and headaches definitely applies, bro. And we covered Trevor Bauer in the past, man, where some was out here crying victim before saying he did this, that, and the third, and she got called out in front of the whole world to see. But this time, <clears throat> I mean, it's just another girl. So I'm catching up with y'all right now, man. Uh, it says Trevor Bauer, accuser charged with allegedly defrauding, exiled MLB pitcher after faking pregnancy. One of the women who accused Trevor Bauer of sexual assault was indicted this weekend for allegedly defrauding the former one-time Cy Young award winner in Arizona, Darcy Adana Esmanu, who sued Bauer and allegedly demanded $1.6 million after claiming he impregnated her, was charged with one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on Monday. Demanding $1.6 million for what, though? Uh, Bauer and another man were listed as the alleged victims in the case weeks after a grand jury handed down the indictment. She was also charged with theft by extortion, but only against the other alleged victim. Bauer in a five-minute video, Bauer in a five-minute video message slammed Ismanu as he accused her of lying about what he says was a, was a consensual sexual encounter. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this, you may remember her from yeah, this video, bitch. as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Well today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimonu, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Mm. Now, her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she... I guess you... Huh, what is it? In females, for example, hormones present at ovulation can drive a woman to choose a cocky, confident man with a slight stubble and more masculine features. Men can sniff out an ovulating woman just by smelling her t-shirt. The woman appeared to prefer the smell of a man the similar genes, which could give her something to boost up the evolutionary ladder. Oh, she sent this to her? The picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards- I guess you smell cocky and confident with slight stubble. Hmm, I did make that comment that your shoulders looked broad. Hmm, I did make the comment that your shoulders looked broad and are strong. My feminine lenses were on. But she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text- Come on, man, you going too bad? I'm trying, I'm trying on to, to me. Tea, and for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Again, uh, I just want to I just want to sleep next to you again. I will be very quiet, I promise, and I will sleep though. In the morning, I'll have to leave and will slip out with a blink. Uh, for example, this. I'm not certain, but can I sleep over there later? I'm not certain if, but can I sleep there? It's peaceful for me. I was trying to set your ass up, cuz. Text from January 7th, 2021. At one point. Scandalous bitches, bro. Sleep with me again. Uh, <clears throat> for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant. Mm. And that's corroborated by her own medical records. Mm. Uh, when I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex. But her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? Uh, she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims. 
but they'll try to get my money anyway. Great. I appreciate your time and input today, and I'm glad we can agree to 750k to 3.6 as a settlement bracket, as explained on the phone. That's crazy. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that... Hi, Adana. As your legal counsel, we have all agreed that the recording is detrimental to your case to the point that we will very likely not be able to continue repping you. In this matter, we are requesting a copy of the recording to verify the authenticity. I know this is a difficult news, but without the medical records of your abortion and recording like this, this is what we feel is insurmountable. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you lied. We can't represent you anymore. Oh. <laughs> yes, boy. That's insurmountable Hugs. evidence. And then Hugs. Look out of here, man. The bitch lying, dog. Y'all sitting here talking to her all sweet, but of course. For Madonna that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. Yeah, of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms. To confirm without proof of the abortion or even the date of the abortion, we cannot continue to rep you. We urge you to consult with other attorneys who may, be, who may have different standards. With different standards. <laughs> Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault no or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. Consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Uh, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. That gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. And just so no one can say, well, he still has two other accusers, just because the first two are complete frauds doesn't mean the others are. Here's a couple facts about them. They both had lawyers first demand in excess of $3 million to not go public. Uh, in both cases, only after I refused to pay any sum of money did their lawyers make anonymous claims in the media. They both had the opportunity to file a criminal complaint against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to file a civil suit against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to participate in Lindsay Hill's civil suit against me. They could have even done so anonymously. They both refused. One of them even submitted a statement to the court stating that she never made public accusations against me. The other refused to participate so vehemently that Lindsay Hill took legal action against her trying to force her to participate. She still refused. So they both had the opportunity to testify under penalty of perjury. Neither of them did. One can only wonder why. Perhaps it's because all their claims against me are lies. Now, it's been two years since these women and their lawyers attempted to weaponize anonymous claims in the media against me to take my money. I addressed them at the time, and as far as I'm concerned, it's in the past. But if there comes a time in the future where I need to defend myself further, I will not hesitate to do so. Uh, for now, there's no reason to speak further on this topic, though, because outside of Adana, who's now been indicted with felony fraud, there are no claims against me, no ongoing investigations, and no outstanding lawsuits. At this point, I'm not sure what else I can possibly do to prove my innocence in all of this. I did not do what I was accused of. And every institution that our society is entrusted to rule on issues like these, like courts, judges, law enforcement officers, prosecutors, they all agree with me. They've rejected every single claim made against me, even going as far as charging one of my accusers with a felony. If any evidence of any of these claims actually existed, I would have been charged, or at the very least arrested. But that never happened. What else do I have to do to prove that this entire situation has been a massive lie? This is insane. At what point do I get to go back to work and continue earning a living? Who's that ending towards? Because I'm not hip to his situation right now. When he, say, when he says back to work, does that mean going back to play ball? It sounds like his situation is fucked up, but I just don't, I don't know his, about his specific circumstances right now. Man, let, me, let me finish reading this article. Damn, bro. What do you do? This is this bitch right here. Like, what do you do, dog? What, what could you possibly do to avoid that situation, bro? Because, I mean, you only shared a few texts, man, but she ain't sound crazy in them goddamn texts. But she she was quite pushy. Bro, they got to be proactive in their vetting of any type of woman that definitely pursues you. If it's all in your face, you may need to 
I'm saying she got them pursuing you like crazy, dog. Yeah, you may need to question them, bro. Just go after the ones you want. Okay, so Bauer was released by the Dodgers in 2023 after serving a lengthy suspension tied to the allegations. He has since pitched in Japan. He has since pitched in Japan and in Mexico in hopes of getting back to the major leagues. Okay, that was definitely so. He's talking to the MLB. Sue they ass, bro. It's fucked though, man. Bitch is clearly a liar, but you're still taking the L, bro. Bitch took his whole life away from him because he's had a target on his back. The fuck you supposed to do? What you supposed to do, bro? I was lit, dog. Like, cuz one, clearly in the courts, right? She may go to jail. I doubt she will. But it looked like she may go to jail, but at the end of the day, cuz out of his job, bro. Professional baseball player, Cy Young winner, can't go back to the pros because this, these hoes been lying. He's the victim, and he's out of a fucking job. Not a job. Lost his p position as a major league baseball pitcher, bro. This hoes is lying, bro. I feel like that's a opportunity for a job or something, like a, a professional hoe vetter or a female vetter or something. You know what I mean? This is real shit. I'm not even joking, man. Like, people, they need they need to have something out here to help men with this who have all the shit to lose. All it, all it takes is a bitch crying, lying, and your whole world's flipped upside down. You sitting there have to deal with the potential of... Uh, you have to deal with your career being taken away and the potential of your life being taken away if a fucking jury finds you guilty or the, just the societal damn stigma that's going to follow you wherever you go. Regardless of what the fuck was found in court, clearly this cuz ain't been guilty of nothing. But since these bitches is lying, dog, this whole shit is fucked, bro. This whole shit is fucked. Oh, yeah, man. Fuck this hoe, bro. <laughs> Who is Darcy Adana? It's Manu. 34. You know what I'm saying? She don't, she don't look like, you know, a little teeny bopper ass thot on the goddamn come up unlike the other, what's it, Lindsay Hill, whatever the fuck her name is, bro. Like, she older. You feel me? <laughs> she is known for her roles as a humanitarian, entrepreneur, spokesmodel, and actress. In 2016, she achieved recognition by winning the Miss Black America USA title, bro. Like, nah, what, why, how was Cuz supposed to prevent this from happening? This mom whose recent media spotlight isn't due to her professional achievements. She's faced legal troubles having been charged with two counts of felony fraud and theft by extortion, specifically involving her former Cy Young winner, Trevor Bauer, and Marco Bresciani. Who the fuck is this? It's another one common thing I have noticed amongst these dudes that find themselves in trouble a lot, bro, is bitches from Scottsdale, dog. AZ, that damn city's coming up a lot with, with uh, bitches out here acting crazy, bro. So y'all better be careful with these Scottsdale hoes.